Justified Season 6, Episode 7, The Hunt. I definitely love this episode because we finally got to see what was going to happen with Ava and Boyd. And it was definitely, it, it was definitely, um, just very Boyd. It, it was just Boyd. It's what he does. It's him being Boyd Crowder where he kind of drops all these hints like, you know, why would these people from, you know, from the past do this to me that were really close to me and then they betrayed me and I had to do something to them? Why would they do that? Why wouldn't they talk to me, you know... He, he does certain things that are really out of character for him where it's like he demands Ava to do certain things like, you know, we're going hunting, it wasn't a question, and he's making her drink and stuff like that. And, you know, out of all this stuff that happened, he's kind of messing with her mentally, like, you know, I know, but he obviously doesn't say that he knows, but he's definitely obvious enough with it. And it was kind of driving her nuts, especially the scene when she thought she was about to be shot. It was just kind of driving her crazy to the point where she couldn't take it anymore. And she just kind of called him out. Like, I know there's something going on here. So why don't you just say what it is? And obviously she already knew she's not an idiot. So him dropping the very obvious hints that he drops and her not being an idiot. She knew what it was. But she had to have that full-on confrontation with him. And it was good. And it definitely didn't go the way I expected it to. Because I was so sure that he would... You know, it's Boy Crowder. He does not you know, let people go when they betray him, he kind of takes them out, and that's, you know, that's who he is, but in this episode, we got to see him sort of make a compromise for Ava, and he did a very serious test where he gave her the gun to see what she would do with it, um, an empty gun, of course, because he's not an idiot either, and so he gives her this empty gun to kind of do this test and say, like, hey, you, you came out to me, you told me exactly what's going on, that you're, you know, a snitch, you're a CI, for Raylan and you know now you just tell me what you've told him and we can make this work we can you can still get your freedom and stuff and you know we can take off and we can both be free we can have this money and we can go wherever we want and it was just really good and I can't wait to see exactly how things play out like I'm super far behind so fortunately I don't really have to wait too long to see you think honestly there are only two episodes left so I'm trying to like just cram you know these next um you know next five or six episodes i think they're like 14 or 15 episodes this season so i'm trying to cram a bunch of episodes together so i can actually watch uh the series finale when it premieres but i'm so excited for it i can't wait to see exactly what happens between ava and boyd and you know exactly where things go from here and how they decide to figure things out what lies they tell and you know what truth they tell and also how they're gonna go about you know, their mission, really, because Boyd didn't get the information from last episode when, uh, kind of the new guy that joined the team when he was killed by Ava's uncle, and, you know, they're gonna have to figure their way around that, and her uncle obviously has to figure out some lie. He told the one guy, like, you know, the ground, uh, was weak, and that's kind of how he fell in, um, the hole after it was already opened up, because he was just a little bit too close, but Boyd might know something's up there. He might know, like, you know, the guy wasn't stupid, or he might know something that we haven't really seen in the series yet about this, you know, random character, where he knows enough about random mind things, like, he knew the stuff about, like, the, um, I think it was, like, wet air and dry air, or, or white air, and something like that. He knew that stuff, so Boyd might realize, like, this guy isn't stupid enough to just walk near a hole because he thinks the ground might be strong enough. So, I'm not sure how that's really going to play out either, but I definitely can't wait to see what happens there. And, you know, if Ava is put into a really weird position where she does have to choose between her uncle and Boyd, who she already kind of chose against when she decided to be the CI, and he kind of did certain things where he did leave her and she felt like she was left alone in prison. And, you know, that's kind of pushed her to a certain point, which, um, that was a surprising thing where Boyd did understand you know, she was right. He kind of left her there for a little bit. He didn't, he was kind of doing his own thing. Um, you know, tossing cigarettes at people that blow up and stuff like that. And she kind of just got out on her own. And really, she only went in there because she was, uh, getting rid of the dead body, which obviously he was the, you know, person who killed, um, who kind of caused that body to really be a dead body. So, you know, he saw where she was coming from and she's kind of already been put in this position and she may have to choose between the man that she loves and, you know, the uncle who's been in her life, you know, her entire life. And, you know, we'll just have to see how that plays out or if she doesn't have to make that decision 
and they just end up fighting against each other. If that happens, obviously Boyd being the main, you know, far more of an important character than Ava's uncle, Boyd's going to win that fight and kill her uncle, and then she'd have to kind of deal with that and decide whether or not she wants to continue on this path or kind of revert back to being the CI where she keeps secrets from Boyd and tells Raylan everything and you know, kind of has to deal with the consequences of that after revealing that she's been hiding certain stuff and she already told Boyd that she was a CI and stuff like that. So I have to wait and see, although it's probably already happened because there are only two episodes left, but I have to wait and see. And I'm definitely excited for it. Um, I also love the fact that we finally got to see Raylan with his daughter in this episode and he you know, he, he finally got to be with his family and he they officially decided they're going to be a full-on family, which I thought was great because I always, you know, they were like the relationship of the show and it would always go back and forth with them being together and not being together and being with other people and this and that. So it was cool that they decided, you know, they are going to be a full-on family. He can be, you know, Raylan Gibbons, you know, um, you know, deputy and be, be a marshal and stuff like that. And it'll be fine because that's who he's always been and you know I guess if they get married again his wife for like the second time or third time or something like that you know she will be accustomed to that stuff so I thought that was definitely cool it was nice to the couple of jokes they threw in with the baby and things like that like her just having all these issues with the baby crying and stuff and then the um when Raylan took the baby to the office and stuff like that the little jokes they had I thought it was good and I'm I also loved um, the chief coming in, and he's just, you know, he just had, like, a free day, so he walks in, and he talks to Markham, and he's like, oh, and he's trying to kind of get a little bit of information, like, I remember this, and I remember that, and, you know, I, you know, old age, I don't remember everything, but I remember this and that, and I've been trying to kind of figure stuff out. I love that scene, because he went in just like, oh, I'm just, you know, plain old deputy, I'm just here to, you know, I saw you, and I just wanted to come in and get your name and stuff because you look familiar but he's trying to get this information that he's been looking for for a really long time to really know exactly what's going on with this case and obviously it's been brought back up because Markham's the one involved in a lot of the stuff going on right now and I can't wait to see um how they end up busting him or you know how all that stuff shakes down or if Boyd ends up just flat out killing him because he does end up you know successfully robbing him or something but I love that scene. It was just like him. He kind of had one of those moments where he was almost like Raylan or Boyd, where it's like he, and he definitely he's had those moments before where he kind of acts like he's just the old guy who just does this or does that. But he comes in and he gets the answers he wants to get, or at least gets a little bit closer. Like people are in this show, everyone tends to be smart unless they're like really really dumb. So he couldn't exactly get all the answers, but. I think he got a little bit of information that he was looking for, so I, I thought that was a cool little scene. Um, yeah, there's some other stuff in this episode as well that was actually pretty cool, but for the most part, we had you know our two stories with Boyd and Ava going out in the forest and things being really tense and you know not exactly knowing what's going to happen with Ava, whether or not she was going to be killed by Boyd and all that craziness, and then of course. Raylan getting to see his daughter was definitely cool. And we also got this stuff uh, with Markham, which was sort of, I guess, like the third storyline with Markham and really the last two guys that he has. So he's keeping the one guy, like, really close to the best by giving him all the extra money, telling him to kind of lay low for a while. And then we have Walker, who um, really freaked out those two college kids. I definitely thought he was going to kill them. But he has some crazy moments in this. He, like, he has to dig out a bullet. Um... He has this best delivered. I would have to assume it's to like his family or something, because that's kind of all he has of when he was um, in the war. Maybe it really was for Choo Choo or something like that. And you have he's having it delivered to um, Choo Choo's family. But I thought that was just a crazy little scene. He like gives the guys his card to kind of throw off the trail, and then he brings in um, you know the paramedics, and they know who he is, and he realizes that the sedatives are actually or the um antibiotics are actually sedatives so he kills those two guys and it was just crazy especially the second guy like the first guy was shocking like he you know shot him on the ground but the second guy was like you know i could do that but it's just been such a day and then he like shoots that guy and then he shoots him like three more times like shoots him twice in the chest and then in the head and it's just like man that was pretty intense for his character and i don't know where the heck he's going because of course he gave 
uh, Markham and um, his lieutenant or sergeant, I believe, um, you know, he gave them false information. So he knows, you know, kind of how things are going to operate. And he's kind of on the run. He's just on the loose. He has this kid now so he can kind of heal himself a little bit. His, I mean, obviously he was shot through the arm and had to dig it out through the other side. So it's not like he's going to be in tip-top shape just because he has this kid. At least not in the next episode. Maybe like four or five if they skip a couple days. But... You know, his little adventure he had was definitely interesting. He's just on the run. He can't go back to them because, you know, he's just a mess right now. And they kind of don't need that. So, he's on the run now. He's got, like, his own little storyline going on where they have to find him. And he has to kind of get himself back in shape. And he's probably going to go back to Markham uh, once he is, like, completely recovered. And he can take care of himself in case something happens along the way. But for now, he's just, like... You know, he's just off in the wind. He's just kind of doing his own thing. He gives his cards up so that the trail is thrown off a little bit, even though it was, you know, really obvious. And, you know, now he's killed two cops, which kind of puts him back on, you know, on the map a little bit because that call is obviously going to be traced. And um, I have to assume they're going to be like, you know, fingerprints or just randomly, here's this car and here are two dead people who, you know, were taken out by seemingly one person. They're probably going to make some connections. Like, he's in at least this sort of radius but it was definitely a great episode i can't wait to see uh, what happens in the next one but of course i want to know what you guys thought about this episode so please comment below let me know your favorite parts your least favorite parts and what did you guys think about what happened between boyd and ava like when you know when that happened and they kind of reconciled really and it was like all right we're gonna work together really and now lied to raylan I was incredibly shocked. I mean, it's Boyd. He, you know, he killed someone in the, you know, one of the main or recurring characters at least in the season premiere, and it's because of stuff like this where he feels like he can't trust someone. But I think it's the fact that he loves Ava that changed everything. Because if it was anyone else, even you know his own cousin, although that went way beyond him being a snitch, he was actually trying to kill Boyd. Um, excuse me. When it goes to that sort of level. He doesn't tend to give a crap. It's like, you betrayed me, and, you know, I gotta kill you. I don't trust you anymore. But it's the woman he loves, the woman he wants to marry. So, it might end up messing him up in the end. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm excited to see how it plays out, because this could be the one moment in the series where, instead of following his gut, where he just, boom, pulls the trigger and takes care of the issue, he decided to go with his heart and kind of say, all right, we can make this work, because you're the woman I love and have loved for a long time and I still want to marry you and just run away and go wherever we want so I don't know what to think but I want to know what you guys thought about it so please comment below let me know and thanks for watching